man. Sleeping with shades on is nice. Hey guys, Jane here from the Funny Farm. Just, just coming to check out the uh, the weather. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. Which is good. And the fortune teller tells me, "Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place." The spirits are in good humor today. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah, food for me. I'm I'm gonna sell most of it though. Also, I have mail. Open. To our valued Joja Mart customers, I I'm not. I left you as soon as I possibly could. Um, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Why do you feel the need to enunciate that? Unless people were telling you it wasn't. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value our continue your continued support and patronage. Morris. Morris. It's a weird name. I know a guy whose last name was Morris. Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. God, the, the, the cold hand of the corporations are definitely going down my back right about now. I'm feeling it. Feeling it hard. Okay, so let's... I don't know. I've never actually been to the, the grocery store. Uh, but yeah, when I was a kid, I lived in this uh, small town. It had like a thousand people. It was small as hell. That's, like the, that's the population of your average high school. And that was the entire town, including the farmers in the surrounding area. Um... And one of the, like, the biggest uh, events that happened was that we got a, a grocery store. Like, it, it was a, such a small town that... the hell? Fuel your life! It has things for all of them. That's so dumb. Open 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like, one of our biggest things that happened in our town was that we got a grocery store. I mean, come on now. <laughs> That's funny. I, I just, like, I live in the city now, and looking back on that, that's, that's such a tiniest thing. But I guess, like, we only had the general store for our grocery needs. So, like, how do you open this? What is it? Got some water? <laughs> I know, it's, it's just, it just blows my mind how, uh, how different city and town life can be. Like, it's obviously not too different. Like, in bigger cities, um... In, like, when I was living in Toronto for college, yeah, th that Toronto, um, it, it felt like the places that I lived, the place I lived, the area, felt like a small-knit community. But for the most part, it was still a huge city. It was just tiny communities interlocked and, and everywhere. Open the goddamn door. I want to sell my parsnips. wonder how much they cost. Open the door. Hurry up. There we go. Yes. Hello. Business has been slow since Georgia moved into town. It's hard to compete with the, their selection. I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. We got, a, we got like, a lo local grocery store owned by, like, someone in a, the next town over. But I guess... Um, a giant conglomerate would, would do some terrible things. Let me buy some stuff. Or let me sit. Ooh, that's nice! Right, so where the fuck do you get the backpack? Oh, that is, that is very, I'm gonna get that floor. That's my floor now. I'm gonna go attach that to my house. Where is the, oh, it's, a, okay. 2000 go, a fucking, fuck, fuck, no, no, I'm leaving. I'm gonna to talk to I'm gonna to talk to you, the purple hair girl. I'm gonna to talk to you. And also your family. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? I don't know. I mean I, you can't really see, it's cloudy. There's rain everywhere. Let's talk to you. It's a fine looking day. I would say so. On days like this I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. Who is Evelyn? Okay, shut up. Whoa! Okay, cool. 
Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town in exchange for raw materials and money. Uh, excuse me. She'll construct new business, new buildings on your farm, and you'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. Build a coop. What if I don't want animals? What if I want to just be a farmer? We already have a rancher. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, a scarecrow, ooh, I want that, for instance, will prevent crows from- Oh, it was a fucking crow! Oh! Fuck the goddamn crow! Russell Crow eating my goddamn parsnips. I'll smack him. Don't think I won't, because I will. Abigail has a very interesting room. I want in, but we're not friends yet. Maybe I should have saved the parsnip, given her one. I don't know, I'm apparently really shit at giving gifts to people. Let's go talk to whoever's in here. Oh yeah, you're a uh, football dude. Alex. Hmm. This is not good weather for sports. What are you, a pansy? Go out there and play ball. I used to play, uh, what was it, uh, touch football? With, uh, I was in the, the scouts. I guess the boy scouts, but there was girls in it. Um, oh, you're Evelyn, okay. Uh, when I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. In the old days, George would have scampered right up and fixed it. <sighs> That's a very upset looking old lady. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. You you said it. But yeah, I was in the scouts and like when we're camping, we don't we pick the camp like months in advance the the weekend we go. And we went like several times in a in a year. So like if it's raining, then we have to live with that shit. And we're we're bored. We're fucking like fires difficult to make. We got to deal with that, but we're bored. So we like we play uh touch football. Like, 3v3 or 4v4 or however many we were at the time. Because not everyone can make it, right? But yeah, we just played sports in the goddamn rain. Oh yeah, I can probably buy more seeds. I'm gonna go do that. How do you... How do you... Oh! Well, that's a lot worse than I thought it would. This is my floor now. I live on concrete. Can I pick up the bed? I can't. I can't pick up the fireplace. Okay, well, I guess that was a bust. The floor looks terrible. I live on concrete now. I'm gonna go get some more, uh, crops. How do you get to level whatever for farming to get the scarecrow? I wanna be able to make that. Do I just have to farm? I mean, I can do that. I'll plant more shit. I'll go buy some seeds. Pierre, I know I just left, but welcome me back into your home. Uh, beans. Uh, oh, yields multiple be- Oh, that's good. I want some of that. Yeah, let's get some of that. Girls on a trellis, though. Hmm. Well, I've already bought some. Not, go not going back now. And also, uh, some more of this. And another potato. Cool. I'm flat broke. Let's go water. Well, let's go water the grass. By grass, I mean the pavement. Of course. Of course. Can't water the grass. The grass is stupid. Water the pavement. In the rain. What is my life? <laughs> so it looks like it comes with a trellis. I don't know how, but... Let's go. Oh, guess it's planting there now. Oh, oh, ooh, that's not good. Guess I'll, uh, only do that. Oh, couldn't have planted any better if I tried. That's going to upset me. But yeah, I gotta... I mean, I guess that if, as long as I don't make three rows of this stuff, it should be good. This is my farm now. What do I do for the rest of the day, then? 
I got full energy. Let's let's chop some trees. These stupid stupid trees. And it's Friday, so I assume people will be at the bar and go talk to them. Uh, sorry if uh if I'm socializing too much. I don't know. Um It's just it's a fun part of the game. If you're not gonna play the entire game, why play a game at all, right? If you're not gonna, you know, customize your, your bedroom, why make a room? Like I was playing Terraria with this one crew, and they they had it down to like a specific science. It was like, oh yeah, build a six high or five high by whatever thing rooms for the NPCs so you can have them, but you don't you don't make a room for yourself. Oh no, that's a heresy. You know no being creative allowed. And it was just it just pissed me off. If you're not gonna have fun with the game, then don't fucking play it. Like, tryhards piss me off, because why the fuck are you playing the game? To be good at it? Oh, if you want to be good at something, be good at something that actually matters in real life. Be good at art. Be good at fucking science. Be good at... Oh, and I got another deal. Nice. Be good at things that actually contribute to society. If you want to have fun, then play a video game. Like, you can be good at a game, and you can want to be good at a game, but that isn't the main purpose. The purpose is entertainment. Not so you can be good at it. Obviously, you can make money off of games, but it's difficult to contribute to society if you're fucking playing video games. And I know the fact that I am playing video games right now, and I'm aware of the things I'm saying, but it just pisses me off when people try so hard. You, you gotta have fun, otherwise you're just an idiot. Alright, well, it's, uh, 4.40 now. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. If you wanted me to skip any of this farm stuff... Too goddamn bad. Because I don't have the editing capabilities to do so. You're going to have to live with this garbage. Let's get rid of this stuff. I wonder who's actually watching this, if anyone. I mean, obviously I'm going to watch it. Like I, I watch a lot of my videos, but I, I wonder if anyone's actually watching this. Like, uh, a friend of mine who, uh, who I tell to watch my videos, he watches some, but he, I, he watched, uh, like, I showed him Stardew Valley when Markiplier started playing it. He was not having it. Like, he, he was one of the people who didn't get in the, uh, the craze of the farming games. Fucking Harvest Moon. He, he didn't play Harvest Moon. He didn't care about Harvest Moon, which is fine. It's not his deal. That's fine. But, uh, like, he's, he's the guy I show my games to, so... Obviously, I can't do that, and so I gotta, whoops, I need that, and so I gotta live with that. I don't have anything to give anyone. The geodes are mine. So yeah, he's not gonna watch this, so who who is? I get an average view count of anywhere from zero to, I believe, three. But most of them are zero, though, which is a damn shame. But what can you do? Oh, that is my text phone. I will hold on, my friends. And we have officially returned. Welcome, friends. Back. It, 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 sorry, it's been like maybe an hour for me. Oh wow, there's quite a few people here. Let's talk to let's talk to a fisherman here. I need a little warm me up. I need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. I need a little warm me up. I already told you. Why are you asking again? Hi, Jane. Er, read anything interesting in the library lately? Oh, is he is he digging me? Huh. Well, um, I'll see you around then. Whoa! What the hell? Is he listening to music? Give me my, give me your full attention, dude. Unless it's my tracks you're listening to. We have work to do. I'm done for the day. Farming doesn't take 24 hours. In fact, I spent most of the day cutting down trees. Good evening, Jane. I'm glad to see you're relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I have an extra beer in his honor tonight. Thank you, Lewis. That's, that's very respectable. 
Good evening, Jane. I'm telling you the same things. I love your grandfather. He was a special man in my heart. Oh, oi, right, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. He, she and Willie sound vaguely alike. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Business, these people repeat themselves. Why do I get the... Why do I get the prompt to talk to them when they say the same things again? Never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Your friend Sandy lives in the desert. Better parents didn't plan that. I wish I could have visited her today. Aww. Well, the bus is broken. Oh, you guys... You locked me in! You locked me in! You lo Okay, good. Thank you. Oh! No! Sam! Sam! Stop! 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 Don't leave. Never tell you... We used to live in the city? Uh, no you didn't. Did you catch one of my shows? There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. That's very true. Honestly, like in, in real life opinion, that's uh, that's a pretty strong opinion. Like, you, you, it's, it's really a choice of opinion. How many times can you say the word opinion in the same sentence? It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Oh, are you a hippie? I'm digging that. Be my hippie girlfriend. You. Purple. Oh, I, I talked to you already. No one over here. I guess it was... I guess uh, Sam and Abigail are friends. Oh, whatever. This, this is all I need to do. This is all I got done today. Successful day, I'd say. Social. You seem to be in a different order, is it? Ordered by anything in, in specifically? I still need to talk to him. Where is that guy? Like, is he up here? He's emo. Does he come out at night? Feed on the blood of his enemies? A few of my emo friends back in high school did that. Not that I had any. Most of them were seen. Not S-E-E-N, but S-C-E-N-E. -E. You like scene kids? I didn't actually know any emos. They were all scene kids. Where the hell is this? Let's check in. The well, it's probably closed by now. Is he over here? Oh, there's no one over here. Hmm. I'll meet him one of these days. Sebastian, I'll meet you. You will be met by me. It's getting late, though. I better, better head home. Better go to bed. I talked to all the saloon dwellers. It's cool. Oh yeah, let's talk to a homeless guy, real quick, and then head on home, head to bed. It's been a, it's been a very busy day. Hello, Linus. A warm rain is a pleasant way to get clean. I don't have a voice room yet. Wisdom from the homeless guy. Got it. Hey, I I'm I'm digging it. I was homeless once myself. Living in the streets of the big city. And then, of course, I got my DJ gig. But hey, I was still homeless. They don't actually pay all that well. Oh, cool. There's a oh, there's a lot of them. Wow. Look at it. Money today. I wonder if I can give these as gifts. I'll sell two. Or, wait. Can you? Hmm. How do you sell some of a stack? Okay, that was not touching this yesterday. This grass is growing. Nice. I want just a field. Get rid of all the trees, all the saplings, and just have a field of grass. Oh, it's going to be so great. You walk a little slower, but it's so nice. So nice. Can you... Oh, okay, cool. I don't know how this works exactly. I'm going to keep that. Give it to somebody later. Make some money. Oh, yeah, the concrete floor. I forgot that I now live in a warehouse. Tiny-ass warehouse. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just get concrete walls, too. Just make it look real terrible. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the picture off the wall. Oh, there we go. And uh, put it in my inventory, I guess. Can I... 
Wait, what? Oh my god. I don't have a window. And sleep. <laughs> yes! Making a scarecrow tomorrow. However, that is all I have time for today, friends. See how much we made today. We made a good amount. Um, two wood, four gold. Oh, what is shit money? Okay, so it's just a resource. Okay, well, that's good. I was I only sold it because I was curious. Uh, maple seed is five G. It's just a shit. Slightly less, but you know, still, still shit. But that's nice. It's actually moving. And the foraging two leaks equals one hundred and twenty gold. That's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. That's 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 a respectable amount. It's like a hundred and twenty. Buck 20. That's respectable. Okay, so thank you, friends. However, I am going to go. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.